All right, so far the groundhog is uh, what three days in a row now. It's predictions coming true. Still holding on to some chilly weather. It said uh, I believe it, it, it said we were going to see six more weeks of winter and it looks like we've uh, got a chilly day today. Just seeing some sunshine breaking out behind me here in Bell County. A lot of the rest of the area in the clouds. Chilly day well below average 47 degrees going to be a chilly evening and a chilly overnight. We still have some cloud cover out here, even though it looks like it's disappeared. Cloud cover still out here. We've got sunshine now from Gatesville back to Temple and then areas back down towards the southwest. Cloud cover will build back in as we go overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. You start to see the green popping up on here as that moisture returns. Cold front moves in from the north. We're going to see uh, some drizzle, maybe some light showers out there. Very spotty, very isolated. Maybe you can see some fog develop. We can get some light winds in areas too. So waking up tomorrow morning overall, looking at a cloudy, damp, maybe some drizzle, maybe some spotty showers. Then we'll just keep the rain chances in the forecast through the whole day. It's not going to be just continuous rain all across the region, but hit or miss off and on showers be possible. Likely a lull in the late morning, early afternoon, and then as we go into the late afternoon into the evening, we really start to see our energy moving through and we'll see some scattered showers. Now you'll notice some yellows and oranges popping up in our eastern counties and areas just off towards the east of us. Still a chance maybe we could get some uh, thunderstorms out there. Looks like the best chance for severe is going to stay maybe I think right now off towards the east, even better instability to further southeast of us, but maybe we could get some thunderstorms and some heavier rainfall. We could use the heavier rainfall. That's for sure. You know, the sh showers really stay concentrated uh, east of I-35 through the evening and through the overnight hours. Now, hour by hour right here wants to clear things out as we go into Wednesday morning. I think we'll still likely have a lot of cloud cover around, and I think we'll even still see some scattered showers, at least through the morning hours for the first half of the day. Areas from Goldthwaite, Gatesville, Waco, Mejia, and Southward would have that better chance of scattered showers. So yeah, hour by hour not showing it right now, but still going to be tracking some scattered showers lingering for our southern half, at least for the first half of the day on Wednesday with the cloud cover hanging around and likely keeping us pretty chilly. Highest rain total is being picked up off towards the east. And that's because that's where we saw our heaviest potential for some uh, heavier pockets of rain out that way. Cold, cloudy and drizzle possible as you head out tomorrow morning. And with the cloud cover and the scattered showers overall looking for a chilly day, some 40s out there. And uh, as we look here at your seven day forecast again, We'll be watching as we go into tomorrow. Storm Prediction Center has us highlighted for a level one here, uh, a marginal risk for maybe an isolated thunderstorm at two. Really just watch the potential for some small hail. So we'll keep that in mind as we get into tomorrow late afternoon into the evening. And then also going to be watching a day as we go into Saturday where we could potentially see maybe another frontal system lining up just to our northwest. Some energy moving through and Gulf moisture returning to give us some more scattered showers. So a lot of people tell me, Zach, we need some rainfall. I hope we get some rainfall. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there, Doug, just like that. You nailed it. Uh, hopefully we can get it in here. A lot of people may be going to stay on the light side with the rain mm -hmm. tomorrow, but maybe we can see some pockets of heavier rain. We'll keep our fingers crossed for it. All right. All right. Thanks, Zach. Well, are you ready?